Capricorn, what's really going on, family? Hmm? Talk to me. Why am I sitting here looking at a whole third party situation? Capricorn, drop the sign right now. Go ahead, like and subscribe and drop the sign in your birthday. Drop the sign of this person that you are on again, off again with fighting, competing with somebody else over this individual. Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Like and subscribe for more of my daily Capricorn reads and check the playlist and find me on Instagram. All my links are down below and be sure to comment. Let me know where you are watching from and drop your sun, moon and rising. Capricorn, Again, your birthday in this person's sign in the comment section. We see Gemini, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini with the courting, lots of fire, lots of earth. Oh, we got the fixed signs here with the wheel of fortune. And then it, this, it, it, and then it speaks to cycles. We see the repeating numbers, right? Seven of fire, seven of earth. Who's this fire sign person? Uh, Capricorn. So we get that this person is, oh, just moved everything all around. Um, we get that this person is very attractive. Male or female, very attractive. You and this individual have a great physical connection, Capricorn. Is that what's got you fighting with this other person? But I also get family. It's not just you fighting with this other person. This person in the middle. This person in the middle causing all the drama right at the center of this circus with this. Oh, come on. Let me get it together these people at the center of the circus with this miss robinson capricorn energy and this gemini aries with this magi baby listen they're enjoying it this is a again a, a power play while you're wanting this person to make a decision while you're wanting this person clearly, okay, to just walk away <clears throat> from another situation that they continue to go back and forth to, just as much as you're wanting them to walk away permanently from this other situation, um, they're, they're, they're committed to the madness. And this is what I'm going to say to you, Capricorn. I feel like there's Capricorns here. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn, no. I feel like, hold on a second. Excuse me, I had to turn my alarm off. There are some of you Capricorns that are fighting over somebody, man, woman here. because of all of the time you feel like you've invested, like you've invested too much or if you financially invested too much. There's somebody here that thinks that this person, oh, somebody about to get their feelings hurt. There's somebody that's tapped in that feels like this person has spent too much money on them, too much money on you for you to, okay, walk away from this person. Let me tell you something, Capricorn. This person is just as invested in this other party as they are you. That's the problem. Yeah, th th that's what makes this person so high risk. And now we're starting to see the repeating numbers sevens earth and fire sixes with the air and now the earth here it, it, 
The six of coins always giving me the Libra vibes, but everything just kind of being up in the air, a situation being extremely high risk. And with a roll of the dice, you know, this person could be there or be out. Capricorn. Notice how we have all this baggage here in the background family. This person, when they left, they left with baggage. But I feel like when they came in, they came in with this baggage. Capricorn. What is it that you want from this losing situation, family? You want this person to pick you? Because we see that, you know, we see the cycle repeating. I feel like if you're wondering if they'll come back, yeah, I mean, if you're still foolish, of course they'll still come back. We see that definitely here. If you're willing to make them the center of your universe, this person will absolutely be back. If you're still feeling like they're checking off all of your boxes, especially when it comes to physically checking all of your boxes, what you're looking for, tall, skinny, you know, fit, feminine, and submissive. <laughs> Uh, but they're crazy, but they're, you know, in and out, very childish when it comes to their commitments, you know, making promises that they keep, can't keep. And then there seems to be this like disappearing act. Again, the on again, off again. Because here's the thing, it's on again, off again, and somebody's liking all of the benefits of the history that you have, right? And this physical relationship and this cycle and things. But why is everything in the dark? Why are there all, there's all these secrets with this person? And, and notice all of the pages water, air, it speaks to somebody being not only very immature Capricorn, you think it's just this one other person, there's other people. This person is a distraction from a distraction from a distraction, a straight agent of chaos. But this person that you're thinking about that your focus, that you don't want them to be with, is only one of others. Even if this person decides to choose you, Pikachu, Capricorn, looking desperate and foolish, there will be other people that they're already, you know, talking to. I, I haven't had a reading this ratchet in a long time. Capricorn, right. Let's just, and that's the thing. You're always going to have to look over your shoulder at this person. Breaking your back, trying to figure out what this person is doing, especially when they're away, especially if this person does a lot of traveling. You have to set some boundaries, Capricorn. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. You know exactly what you're supposed to do. Some of y'all came here looking for validation in, in some wrongness and some stupidity here. You need to set a boundary and I and you know you can ask this person to choose you to get rid of this other party. You can ask this person, you know, to get it together. Here's the thing. Again, they're still high risk. I feel like Capricorn, that's a forehead kiss I just sent to you because there's a delusional Capricorn up in here. And we saw a little, I, and there was a, listen, we've been seeing some of these third party things. I don't know what's going on, but somebody's going to have to be the emotionally mature party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yikes, Cancer, or excuse me, Leo, Cancer. 
there's going to have, be, have to be somebody that's going to take the mature route. And it, and it is going to take a lot of strength because I feel like, again, you really like this person. There's that strong physical connection and checking a lot of the boxes that you feel are important. And I'm not saying or suggesting that they're not right. But the fact that this person likes this drama, the fact that this person is invested in this third party situation, invested in this other party just as much as they are to you, invested in, you know, seeing what else is out there or doing things behind your back or being with you behind the back of someone else, right? You can't trust this person. Somebody's have to have, gonna have to be the mature party and make a major decision here, even though there is a lot of potential. Or is there a lot of potential for somebody to be successful or find what they're looking for elsewhere? Elsewhere here, Capricorn. You see this person getting on a train and moving on. And especially this person that's in something long distance. I feel like a situation is purely physical when somebody is around. And when they're not, you don't hear from this person. You don't see from them. Or again, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I also feel like a trip or separating yourself as this continuing theme of not only the season of abundance but a period of isolation taking time away will help you really see the situation for what it really is capricorn drop this person's sign down below let me know it resonated for you like subscribe share this video find me on instagram all of my links are down below in the description box and Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.